Now, following the briefing, I spoke with Dr. James Kravick about what he thought about the governor's revised orders. He told me the number of new cases a day being in the 6,000 range across the state is what they expected, but that we need to get that number down. Hospital beds are filling up and the number of people dying is going up. He said he expects the beginning of the end will be getting the vaccine. But until then, the governor's revised orders and restrictions, as well as enforcement, were something he was hoping to see. We, we know there's the, the mask mandate has been in there, but the enforcement has been uh, missing. And it's been hard. The health departments have really don't have the, the capacity or the authority to do that. So I think I'm not really sure how he's doing, going to do this yet, but I think the fact is um, it's a step in the right direction. He also told me he wasn't surprised that the governor put it on the table that bars, restaurants and fitness centers could be shut down if we don't get these numbers under control. But the goal is to, again, flatten the curve so we don't get to that point. Now, we've talked with local bars and restaurant owners before about COVID restrictions in place, but after DeWine's latest briefing today, we wanted to hear what they thought now, knowing that another shutdown of their business could be a possibility in the next week. I talked with the owner of a new restaurant downtown, Gringo's. They just opened on September 8th, and the owner told me that he's worried about his employees and about the business financially. I don't see the advantage of shutting us down and keeping everybody else open. It'd be better to have people police us and make sure we're following the guidelines, just like they said they were going to do with the other retail merchants. He said they're already taking a hit with the 10 p.m. curfew now. It's about figuring out a game plan and fast should the governor shut them down.